Kianas, Kirans, Wands, and Michelles, elucidation of cosmology. In my opinion, cosmologists are wrong when they calculate that singularities exist that contain all the mass of a black hole within an infinitely dense point that takes up no space at all. Malik's stable steady state universe theory. The dark matter energy of the Schuyler bubble universe does not expand or contract. Big bangs and big crunches are intrinsic properties as of the matter composed of Schuyler particles in different numbers and different configurations that we know of as protons, neutrons, and electrons, and their baryonic confections. This theory of everything is but a template for the myriad modifications to scientific thought that it will engender. The quote, cosmological constant, close quote, of Einstein's awesome imaginative genius is an intrinsic property of scalar particles and scalar energy. After visible matter and energy is turned back at the universe's meniscal layer boundary, it goes back to the center of the universe to another in an endless series of big crunch events wherein it is stripped of its strong and weak forces and its atomic structures and explodes in another of its endless series of big bangs. Dark matter energy, skylars, push and hold all larger objects towards and into the gravitational centers of nearby objects. Dark matter energy, skylars, are the repositories of electromagnetic energy. This is the source of Michael Faraday's electrical energy. Schuyler energy, quote, induced, close quote, electricity to flow. The cycle of universal crunches and bangs does not materially affect Schuyler's except for the eternal heating and cooling cycle of the crunches and bangs. The Schuyler quantum suit is stable but dynamic inside the electromagnetic meniscal bubble that encloses the universe. Dark matter energy Schuyler's explain why many protons carrying positive charges can exist close to each other in a stable nucleus of an atom. They are cushioned by all of the Schuyler particles between them. Schuyler particles are responsible for the fact that neutron stars crushed by gravity down to 10 miles in diameter will be so dense that one teaspoonful of it would weigh about one billion tons. The Schuyler dark matter energy will keep it from collapsing further. Neither time nor space began. The reason that everything in the universe is flying directly away from the Earth is a wonderful proof of Big Bangs. The speed of light is the universe's speed limit. Matter and energy are eternal. They were not, quote, created quite literally from the nothingness of curved space-time, close quote. Dark matter energy skylars preclude the possibility of the existence of a singularity. The universe exists beyond and is greater than any arbitrarily large value. In that sense, it is infinite. The universe is alpha and omega. It extends from everlasting to everlasting. The providential spacing of skylar particles and its, quote, space, close quote, provides for vast periods of time between the universe's endless series of big bangs and big crunches. This time permits the existence of life. Only God could band Orion or set the stars in place. All particles larger than Schuyler's bend space. Stars, planets, asteroids, bullets, etc. bend space as they tunnel through it. They specifically make a circular tunnel through space, compressing it. Mitch Benjamin's Universe Made Simple. Quote, The electric field theory of Faraday and Maxwell represents probably the most profound transformation of physics since Newton's time. The existence of the field manifests itself only when electrically charged particles are introduced into it in space. Albert Einstein. Quote, the mechanical properties of the ether were at first a mystery. Then came H. A. Lorentz's 
great discovery. All of the phenomena of electromagnetism, then known, could be explained on the basis of two assumptions. Number one, that ether is firmly fixed in space, that is to say, unable to move at all. And two, that electricity is firmly lodged in the mobile elementary particles. Close quote. Today, this discovery may be expressed as follows. Physical space and the ether are only different terms for the same thing. And two, electrical fields are physical states of space. The quotations were from Albert Einstein. The additional thoughts were mine. I agree with the essence of the, quote, electric field theory of Faraday and Maxwell, close quote. I also agree with Albert Einstein's statements that the Faraday-Maxwell electric field theory was, quote, probably the most profound transformation of physics since Newton's time, close quote. I also agree that the, quote, existence of the electric field in space manifests itself only when electrically charged particles are introduced into it, close quote, by Albert Einstein. I agree with H.A. Lorentz's conclusion that number one, quote, empty space, close quote, is not empty. It is filled with, quote, ether, close quote. Now ether is a hypothetical substance supposed to occupy all space, postulated to account for the propagation of electromagnetic waves through space. I also agree with H.A. Lorentz and Albert Einstein when they postulated that, quote, the ether is firmly fixed in space that is to say, unable to move at all, close quote. But for my simple clarification, as here and after detailed, the ether of empty space, as follows from the work of Faraday, Maxwell, Lorentz, Einstein, and a multitude of experimentalists and theoreticians, simply needs a little tweaking. I agree that the ether is firmly fixed in space throughout our bubble universe. The ether is entirely composed of scalar particles and their electromagnetic energy, compacted at quantum distances that create scalar soup scaffolds inside our bubble universe. The scalar particles soup scaffolding is locked in place by gravity's compulsive forces and the repulsive slash compulsive forces of electromagnetism and the eternal jostling of scalar particles as they spit static electric charges. The scalar particles themselves, as I have noted, exhibit axial but not orbital spin. My thought experiments and my practical dark matter motor development experiments cause me to differ with Lorentz in a second matter. I do not believe that, quote, electricity is firmly lodged only in the mobile elementary particles, close quote. My experimental work as demonstrated by output energy work and heat versus input energy prove that scalar particles in a scalar soup scaffolding are also a seat of electricity as described here and above. The testing of my dark matter motor as confirmed by the dark matter motor testing by Stern in Dublin and by J.L. Nadine in France demonstrates that the input energy is multiplied as output energy and work. Stern's January 30, 2010 testing of their version of my dark matter motor slash generator produced 2.7 times the electrical input energy as work and heat. The Stern motor tested on January 30, 2010 could not have been built much more simply. The dark matter motor generator will soon be manufactured, thus starting to solve all of this planet's energy problems. These machines can tap directly into the infinite free fuel of scalar particle space forever. And I say again, the dark matter motor generator models will soon be being manufactured, thus starting to solve all of this planet's energy problems. These machines can tap directly into the infinite free fuel of scalar particle space forever. The patent application Exemplary embodiment, graphic representations depict a powerful neodymium iron boron rod, permanent magnet, as a powered weight-bearing piston 
cutting at right angles through the magnetic fields of relatively weak electromagnets. The electromagnets controller first switches the electromagnet on while its south seeking pole is opposed to the permanent magnets north seeking pole. <clears throat> the permanent magnet is encased as part of a weight bearing piston assembly will accelerate upwards towards the south seeking pole of the fixed electromagnet just before the opposing poles kiss with machine shattering force the reversible electromagnet will be mechanically switched so that the powerfully sought south pole's magnetic field will collapse and morph into becoming a repulsive north seeking pole of the permanent magnet piston and will serve to propel the aforesaid piston assembly away. Thus both strokes of the weight bearing permanent magnet piston assembly will be powered strokes. When a reversible electromagnet then is switched so the north seeking pole will again morph into a south seeking pole. At that point the more powerful magnetic field of the permanent magnet piston will again accelerate upwards to kiss the stationary electromagnet. So on and so forth will the generator slash motor cycle. A fraction of the mechanical force will be converted to electrical energy by this process and will power the electromagnet. The motor generator thus will not utilize external fuel or force except to be started. My patent applications rotary dark matter motor generator works on a similar principles as drawn and articulated therein. Marcus Fuller and Mitch Benjamin debunk junk science. String theory should occupy the minds of cats and science fiction creators. The Higgs boson does not exist in my opinion. Wormholes, backwards time travel, and the 11 or so dimensions of string theory are full employment opportunities for thinkers and nothing more. Hyperinflation theory is the conception of a true genius. However, I cannot find room for it in Sanus's theory of everything or the Smith Sanus Benjamin theory of much. Infinite density and infinite gravity do not exist in nature. They only exist in the minds and equations of highly educated and brilliant mathematicians and others. To put it simply, singularities only exist at all because of Einstein's errant mathematical calculations. Traveling back in time is absurd, but how long can it be before governments find a way to levy taxes to achieve it? Wilson Sanus's Timeless Truths. Time and space have always existed. Dark matter energy, Schuyler's, although of low density, can answer human energy needs forever. Our bubble universe is not expanding. All humans can marvel and wonder about Goldilocks temperature zones. Patricio's amended special theory of relativity. The greatest genius who ever lived, Albert Einstein, was absolutely correct when he mathematically calculated that E equals MC squared. However, Einstein missed all but perhaps, at most, one trillionth of one trillionth of the total matter and energy of the universe. Allah's challenge. It is a mystery beyond all mysteries, though as to how scalar particle energy sprang into existence along with space-time. The Paul Simon Levan Esquire conundrum arising from my experimental and theoretical work in physics and cosmology can be simply postulated. Have Schuyler's always existed or is there a God who created them? Paul, my mentor, knows, but he refuses to tell. David Richard Sanis, Dairy Farmer, Goat Herder.